I don't know, maybe there would be more money for Americans if all the giveaways to the world were cut out. So how is this next bill going to pass? Well, just let's ask the press secretary. There's a long history of bipartisan support for reconciliation bills, a parliamentary process. Again, I don't think the American people are particularly worried about how the direct relief gets to their into their hands. Uh, and, you know, that if that's the process that uh, it moves forward through, which seems likely at this point, the president would certainly support that. Right. Who cares how we fund the next transgender studies program in Pakistan? So here's the argument. The $2 trillion Biden-Harris plan is going to be the same wasteful spending as the 5,593 pages that burned through the last trillion. We are going to get spending on page after page after page, having nothing to do with helping one American citizen through the pandemic. Nobody voting for this is going to read it, and the media is purposefully promoting what sounds like, on the surface, a good faith effort by the government. Every non-direct COVID-related item should be in the standard budget and debated in open, not rammed through using reconciliation. But we don't have time. We can't wait. Relief now. Really? One year ago, one year ago, Democrats were busy impeaching President Donald Trump and the United States was beginning to experience the effects of the China virus. Here we are. One year later, and the Democrats are busy trying to impeach former President Trump, and we are experiencing the full effect of a virus formerly known as the China virus. The Biden administration has seen fit to cancel pipeline jobs and put more Americans out of work while trying to usher in tens of millions of new immigrants who are going to work where? <laughs> no one knows, and who cares, right? Biden and the Democrats are going to build back better or something after nearly a year of Democrat governors and mayors locking people out of their jobs and businesses after trillions spent not bringing any actual relief to actual Americans who are actually suffering, they're getting ready to do it again. And how dare we criticize? The media helped the left by blaming Trump for the out-of-control spending designed by the Democrats and the deficits that we were racking up. They endlessly pointed to the rising unemployment rate and called it the Trump economy. Now another, what, $2 trillion? $2 trillion of your tax dollars are about to disappear around the globe. And just like that, we're going from America first to America last.